I'll shoot him. What in the Sam hell do we have going on here? What the? I I don't know. We are not up north anymore. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another one. Sam is here. <laughs> I hope you guys saw that. We are in Texas, folks. We just got done. You got, I'm sure you guys saw the videos. We were at the San Diego Flyway in Kansas, and now we are in fact in lubbock texas to do some famous crane hunting with one of my buddies here before this video gets started though i just want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by ducks waterfowl they just got their thermal hoodies back in stock and they have like a bunch of cool different ones my favorite one is that old school pattern i'll kind of pop up some pictures right here for you guys to ch take a look at um definitely go cop one of them it's getting cold out so you need some good old thermal gear use code mindac at checkout to save some money at the checkout so you guys obviously can save your money and you know have more money to buy more duck stuff you know just here to help you guys but i did not come here alone obviously sam layman's here I'm not we got truck. this man's right here what up? you have the leech luke cornier broken wing that film, drove something. all the way here and john slammed my door 800 times and almost smashed all the glass out of my truck because he does not know how to shut a door softly then we got greeble greeble this is a long way from home for you <laughs> I slept most of the way here, but it's pretty uh, good scenery in my dreams of a lot of random dreams that I don't remember, but... Are they some lucid dreams? Yeah, about uh, special someone, but... Bro. But I brought the homies with. We got the Smackin' Boys and BW Films. Check them out down below as well. We're stopping at the old Cabellers. We got to get some shells and our licenses. So I just thought I'd bring the camera and kind of open up the vlog here. Um, just so you guys kind of see what's going on in the old Texas life, but... Let's go get some stuff. Oh, wow. Look at this Cabela's. It's pretty fancy in here. I have no clue where I'm going, though. Them look like some pretty big Texas deer if I've ever seen big Texas deer. All right, Slavin, what are we doing right now? Right now, we are looking for some shells. We were going to get lead. Here in Texas, you can actually use lead for cranes. So that's what we were going to get. But unfortunately, they did not have any here in Cabela's. They had a very slim selection of shields. Well, we're at like a Cabela's outpost. Kind of cheeks, but. John picked up some triple BBs, three and a half inch. And uh, I got some three and a half inch double BBs I might be using. So the boys are going to look around for a little bit. And then after this, I think we're going to head over to Cole's house. Maybe. I'm not really sure what the plan is, but uh, we'll keep you guys updated. Two hours later. New choke, eh? Whew, ladies and gentlemen, we just got back from Shields and eating food. Uh, we actually met up with my buddy. My buddy is Cole Buford, if you guys haven't heard of him. Uh, you guys have seen it in some Guggen videos and with John B. I met him this summer in Maine and we kind of played with the idea. He's like, hey, I actually guide down here with long neck outfitters in Lubbock, Texas. Do you want to come down here and do some hunting? So that is why we are down here. We are going to do some crane hunting tomorrow. And then the next day, I'm going to keep it a surprise. The boys and I are hunting cranes and I could not be any more excited. I've only gone one time. I didn't really shoot that much. This time, I am going to shoot and I'm so excited, like so excited. It's been a bucket list thing to do. Like you hear about this all over the internet, all over the TV shows, Sandhill Cranes, Sandhill Cranes, right by the sky. And we are down here to do a catch, clean and cook for you guys. Cause you know, that's what I love doing on this channel. So with the boys, I actually booked us this nice hotel room. It's not bad actually, you know, we're sleeping four, five people in here. So Dustin and Luke are in here. The Layman brothers are in here and then uh, the Greeble gets his mini little cave over here. But we will tell you a little bit more about Long Neck tomorrow um, from one of the guides that we're going with. If you guys want to check them out, I'll leave a link down below. They run mainly goose and crane hunts, but they also do duck hunts, dove hunts. Cole's going to run turkey hunts and snow goose hunts this, uh, this coming spring as well. So if you guys want to do any of that stuff in this area, definitely go down in the link and check these boys out. I'm not hunting with Cole tomorrow because he's hunting with some other clients. Oh, what's we're up, hunting bro? with this other dude, oh, but it, it's still going to be a lot of fun. Hey, he's trying to vlog. What's going up? Yo, these. <laughs> oh, boy! Whoa! What are you doing, dude? You better check your shorts, also. <laughs> I ain't from around here. But I'm gonna tell you what. We just walk out the truck. I forgot my laptop in the truck. We walk in. Some boys walk out. I says, You from around here, old son? They ain't from around here. I says, Get from down here, old son. 
Yeah, we we usually just do this back and forth and back and forth like a rubber band shot. Yeah, it was last time we was down right now. Oh, uh, that that bar, uh, uh, what the hell was that field? We was out by the fence. No, it was that, that wasn't it? It was that barley field we was in. No, oh, that was the Milo just north of that. Yeah, oh, f Joe, he harvested that one up last year quick. Yeah, he had the cattle out there that this year. Though. I yeah. was hoping they would leave their idiotness up north, but clearly that didn't happen. It just follows them anywhere we go. Anyways, um, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Tomorrow. Good morning, folks. It is the next day. We are in a random field. And we're doing some crane hunting. We got some birds working us right now. We met up with our guy, Rob. Rob's out there, he's just a beauty, look at him. But we actually have some cranes flying right now, so we gotta continue our stuff really quickly and get in here. Gotcha, okay, we got two roosts over there. This is like a winter wheat field. Um, we have about two dozen full body decoys. If you guys can see them, I know you guys can't see very well, but we got two dozen decoys. This is our hide, we put two A-frames together and we just kind of brushed it in with some tubble weeds. This looks pretty good. And yeah, we're gonna do some hunting day. I'm I'm absolutely excited. Again, if you guys want to come out here and do some crane hunting or lesser hunting or anything else, I'll leave long neck stuff down below for you guys to go and check out. And you know, if you come out here, you might be able to hang out with this beauty. Look at him. Oh God. Oh, no, 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 that did not just happen. Oh God, oh, that was, that was gold. All right, but we got cranes flying, so let's get the shooting. This is going to be a good one. Well, all the boys are on the blind now. Slamming's flexing on his IG. We have a bunch of cranes flying. So, I'm gonna film on the big camera for a little bit, I think. As soon as they come in, guys, I'm probably gonna put the camera down and shoot, but I'll have my GoPro. And then enjoy Sam's shot cam footage. So he's doing shot cam, I'm doing big camera and GoPro. Let's get it. Hey, Sammy, nice, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> That's freaking sick. Oh, dude. my God. What, what just happened? Cow. Well, two cranes came I mean, in. Someone puffed it on the first shot. I don't know if it was you I, or... I shot at that too, yeah. Someone over there, we all shot at it, and that one dropped, and then that second one was still coming at us, and uh, I had one shell left and plopped her, so uh, that was freaking sweet, man. I've never seen that happen before. They worked in perfect. Oh my God, that was so cool. We had that double come in. I threw down this, and the boys just started shooting at him, and we got both those down, but we got more coming, guys. Drop a like down for this video, because I'm so excited. Texas, we're here.
I'll shoot him. Let's go! Good job, Sam. Nice. Go. Good job. Good job, Sam. Oh my gosh, I did not lead them that at all. I missed my t my first two shots I missed, and then that last one I shot them. Oh my god. We just got like seven, six there. It limits three here, so, I mean, damn. This is going absolutely insane. We just watched the shot cam footage. I actually have my limit. I've shot my three. I am done. I'm going to be filming with a big camera. He's going to be shooting. He's got the shot cam. He's going to be shooting my gun. We're going to see how it goes. Well, it has been a little bit, and these cranes, man, as soon as the sun came up, they've been kind of flaring on us. I don't really know what the issue is. We're gonna change up the spread a little bit here and see if that does anything. Also, our A-frame is kind of just in the middle of nowhere, and it's casting a pretty big shadow behind us too, so. We're gonna stay out here a little bit longer. Colin's shooting now, and then Luke is also shooting, and then I just need to shoot two more. But so far, I mean, this has been super good. I just hope these cranes start decoying a little bit better, and uh, I don't know. I just think this sun is kind of botching it and there's no wind. Y'all can call the shot if they get real, real close. It's all you, Luke. I can't see. Try to dump them? Yeah, say something. They landed. Did. He landed? Yeah, they both did. You should kill him. On the ground? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Get him, Luke. Get him, Luke. Oh, God. Oh, wait, wait for him to swim. Duck, duck. Nah. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, no. Hey, first oh. Texas crane, baby. I'll shoot him. Where is Oh, God. Hey. There we go. Oh. I, I let you shoot first. Was that you, John? John got it. I, I tried to let Chalin take a shot first, and then I, I waited, then I just decided to go for it. All right, well, um, we had a single come in, and I had no clue where it was. Like, absolutely no clue. Um, Colin knocked a shot first, so then I shot the second time, and I think I shot that one. I think I hope the shot camera's required for that, because that'd be pretty dope. But uh, let's check this bad boy out. This is my second crane. Wow, do I just go after the smallest cranes? Oh God, yeah. Did you get this one? Yeah, it's kind of small though, so maybe I'll just tell Colin to claim it. I'm just kidding. Damn, boy. The rib out of the sky, boys. We got one down. I'm hyped. Shouldn't you be working the fences? We're like building fences or something? No, I'm a cameraman. Have been and always will be. On the right. Low on the right. Low on the right. On the right. Get him Aye! Different sniper over here. On the right. Get him, Luke! Aye! Freaking sniper over here. Well, we had a group come in. Two really came in dirty. Luke doubled up there. That was pretty gnarly. So he, he's limited out, and uh, we're gonna sit out here. I think we hey, need Justin. two more, two more cranes. Hey, so hey, let's see if we can get him in here. Well, we had that last kind of volley right there, and I pulled up. I was focusing on this one. I took feathers off of him. I, I think I wasn't leaving enough. We'll, leave, we'll see on the shot cam. But that's it for this hunt. I, this was freaking so much fun. I'm gonna show you guys a power pick here in a second. So stay tuned. Oh yeah. There is the stack right there. We ended up with 16, too short of our limit. And man, it was an absolute banger hunt. Thank you very much for today, man. It was so much fun. How can people book a trip with you or where can they find you guys' uh, website and stuff like that? Well, if you look up longneckoutfitters.com, uh, you'll find us on the web, but 
Uh, we're all over Google. We have an Instagram. It's at Long Neck Outfitters TX, as in Texas. We also have a Facebook page, Long Neck Outfitters. Uh, so you can pretty easily find us anywhere on the, online if you look up Long Neck Outfitters um, in Lubbock, Texas. We do uh, quite a few crane hunts, but we also get a ton of Lesser Canada geese. Um, and we'll get into feeds of, of 10,000 like you know, like it's no problem. If you want to get on a crane hunt or you want to get on a good goose hunt here in, in the Panhandle, just go ahead and look up Long Neck Outfitters online or you can contact one of us uh, through Instagram at Long Neck Outfitters TX um, or Stephen Deeb, Cole Burford, or myself, Robert Phillips. Any of us on Instagram, you can DM us and uh, we'll get you hooked up. So yeah, again, guys, I'm gonna leave everything linked down below from Instagram, Facebook, and their actual website if you guys wanna come out and do this. It's absolutely insane. I had a freaking blast. We still have one more day. But I'm not going to tell you guys what we're going to do yet. It's uh, kind of a surprise. From now, we're going to take these home, clean them, and we're going to do a little catch, clean, cook action. As you guys know, we joke around, it's the filet mignon of the sky. But no, it's actually the ribeye of the sky. And I've ate this a couple times before, and it was absolutely gas. But we're going to have some experts from Long Necks kind of show it how they clean and cook their, their cranes. So stay tuned for that. It's going to get good. What in the Sam hell? What are you doing here, buddy? What's up, bud? How's it going, buddy? It's good. Things are good. About to cook some crane. The y'all boys hammered this morning. True, true. Heard it was good. Yeah, you were too cool to hang out I with know. us. You're, I had, just, I had you're busy things. shooting 100 birds, yeah, so no big deal. Yeah, no big deal. This is the friend I was talking about. This is Cole. Okay, I told you guys all about him. But we're actually at a little kind of shindig right now. Um, throwing back some bush lights, bringing the north down to the south. And we're gonna cook a little bit of crane here. Now, Cole, you're not the biggest chef ever, chef ever right? Yeah. Huh? You're not the biggest chef ever, are not you? Not the biggest chef. Okay, so Cole's not the biggest chef ever, but Steven, the owner of Long Neck, and maybe one other guy here is actually really good at it. So we're gonna go over there and see what they have in store. Oh, God. What do we got in there? That's back. Damn. That smells good. Oh, my God. Is that a famous TikToker? Oh, my God. I'm crying because the smoke in my eye, but... <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? I'm just making some spec meat. Oh, God. <laughs> well, that's my boy, Zach. If you guys probably seen him on TikTok before. He makes cool duck hunting edits and stuff like that, so he's down here, then Cole, then a bunch of other people that, I mean, if you guys know the waterfowl industry, they're here, too. What are you What are you doing? What are you doing? We're about to make some crane. You want this? Okay. Go get it. Yeah, it's a good dog. Come here. Come here. Oh, that's a good boy. Sit. Oh, God. We got, like, three dogs now. Give. Hey, hey, hey. God, I find this here. All right, I'm about to put some speck in my mouth. It's got bacon wrap. That's pretty much it. Bro. Pretty good, though. You want another tea? I can't eat You gotta soak it in milk. I'm good. Yo. Hey, you made it here. Oh, yeah. I thought we lost you. No, I just like to skip the awkward part in the beginning. <laughs> oh, that speck's good. Oh my god. I want some crane though. That is like, <laughs> that soup, the brown sugar, it's so sweet. Yeah, that that's a good, I'm a fan. Yeah, you eat that meat, boy. Not of Mindac though. Meat, I'm boy. not a fan of Mindac, but I'm a fan of the spec. Okay, so here's some crane. Here's some of the crane, that's looking delicious. But this is crane that they already pre-made, which we're gonna throw on the Traeger and make. Basically what's looking like, they chopped it up, wrapped it in bacon, and put it on shish kebabs. So there's the shish kebabs right there. They put a little bit of this sauce on there and maybe a little bit of that guy. And you just throw on the Traeger pretty much for a little bit. Okay, I guess I'll just kind of vlog like when they put it on the Traeger, but you just let it sit on there and it's gonna be good. Oh God. Oh, 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 oh. Uh. It looks so good, dude. Going for it. What? So this is crane. Crane and bacon, dude. And there's a dipping sauce, right? Oh god, yeah. You really gotta get in there, right? Really get in there. All right. All right. Cheers. Cheers, brother. <laughs> is that good, huh? <laughs> it, is it good, Sam? It's so good. Man. Best. The best. Oh god, you guys are making me want to try it. So, yeah, get in so there, like, what's it taste like, though? I need, what's it? What's it taste like to you guys? Like, I don't what? know. Like chislic. That's I don't a South know. Dakota thing. Yeah, right? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's like steak tips, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say it's like that. Really? Yeah. Good, and dude. the bacon, the sauce they put on the bacon is like it's got a little bit of kick to it, and then you mix that with the tanginess. Mm. It's not too much kick though. Mm. It's just the perfect amount. Mm. It's great. You need John. You need right, to try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. 
All right, here we go. Shouts to the boys for cooking this. Oh, Colin. Dude, have you tried it? No. Oh my God. That is. I'm gonna go all my meats like that. That's the best crane I've ever had. Oh my God. Like, I had it, I've had it a couple times. But not like that. But no, no, they just grilled it like on the yeah. grill like a steak. But that's like the cliche thing. But if you try hard and cook it like this, was it Hunter that cooked it? Hunter, he actually marinated it a little bit, put some seasonings on it, wrapped it in bacon, and he made a special a special sauce for it. So that sauce is a cream cheese with jalapeno jelly. Oh my god. So he heats it up and like mixes yeah. it all up. It's holy fire. crap. Like that. It is so good, dude. Holy cow. Well, I'm going to continue to eat this lovely plate right here. We're just having a good time with the boys. You know, I haven't seen Cole in a long time. So we're just going to sit here, throw a few back, and kind of just catch up. But I will see you guys back at the hotel and do the outro there. Welcome back to another video. John left his camera here, and uh, you're a big dumb idiot, John. Hey John, uh, just updating you. We're at Luke's garage with his Nally. Look at all this shit flexed up on bro. Starbucks Frappuccinos. Frappuccinos. I'm like a I'm the bummy guy. Anyways, Johnny, we'll see you in a little bit.